Hey guys, and thank you for choosing a Fred Truex design. Here is how to put that wrap on your car. So you're going to notice, chances are I'm sending you four files. You're going to have three TGA files and one MIP file. We will get into what that means here in a second. I'm going to try to keep this video super quick and simple. First off, download those files and put them into a file in your computer that you know where it is because you're going to need them here in a second. So save them somewhere safe even throw them right here on your desktop if you need to. Next, open your internet browser and you're going to go to tradingpaints.com right up here. I will link it in the description of this video. So this is the what you're going to go. Okay, this is what you're going to see. Now, you, I believe you have to create an account with your iRacing number or this probably isn't going to work. So go ahead and do that. Next, once your account is created, you're actually going to want to download it. I believe you can click on here download installer so click on your little avatar then download installer that's going to give you a logo that looks like this once it's open it really just runs in the background it doesn't do much other than it's a it's a bridge between uh trading pains and iRacing so once that's all downloaded you're going to come into here and you're going to click on my paints and you're going to find the car that i made you so in this stance for my buddy brian i made him a dirt street stock going to open this up and you're going to notice there's no paint selected okay this is the first thing now here's where those files get different let me close this quick okay so here's where the files get different so what you're going to do is click choose new paint choose new paint upload a paint select a file okay so now you're going to see there's car there's car num car spec these are my iRacing numbers yours will be different so you're going to go ahead and in the uh, in the file, you're going to click for the SIM stamped number. You're just clicking car. Don't click car num, just car. Click open and let it work. So the difference between car, under, car underscore and then your iRacing numbers versus car underscore numbers num underscore then the iRacing number is that one actually has the printed numbers on it and the other one does not. Being iRacing runs stamped numbers on a lot of races. This keeps the numbers off so there is no confusion to there or that there's no, you know, the number on the wrap is here and then boom, they stamp another number over top of it and it just looks like crap. So, this is the base how to do this. Next, choose paints, add spec map. Select the spec map MIP file from your device. It's the one that says MIP MIP at the end. Simple as that. Open that. The MIP file is what's going to give your chromes a chrome look, your flats a flat look, or a glossy look, or however we decide to do your wrap. That's how that works. Okay? So now if you want your custom numbers on your car, you're going to click here on custom number. Same thing. Choose paint, choose new paint, upload a paint, now put in your car number. We're going to do 54. That's Brian's number. Click on the car underscore num file. Open. Let that work. This is for when you run races in iRacing that don't have um, a stamped number or just one random number given to you. This will be like your league races or your practices where they're not just going to stamp a random number on you'll see Brian is number 54 so we have a cool looking 54 on his car now the same thing again choose paint add spec map because you have to put them chromes back in same thing click got it and you're done okay now all, to, all you need to do is open up your iRacing now, you would be opening it from the start. Mine takes a couple minutes to open, so I already have it opened. But you're going to see it should automatically upload the car right into your iRacing. If it's not there, click Control-R at the same time. That will refresh your iRacing, and it should be right in. If it's still not in, go back to your home screen, double-click on Trading Paints, and just make sure that it's open. Make sure that Trading Paints is open and working, okay? You can see here, mine is open a couple times because I've been making graphics. So that should be it. That should be exactly how we install Fred Truex Design 
on your race car. Thank you for choosing the easy way. Thanks for choosing a Fred Truex design. I hope this helps you. Any other questions, please feel free to get a hold of me.